What's up guys, Dr. Jay Feldman here. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you why you need to throw that bathroom scale in the trash, especially if you're somebody who's on a fitness journey. I don't care if you're trying to lose fat, gain muscle, gain fat, there's a way to get a lot better information, more accurate information about what's happening in your body than simply stepping on a scale. Stepping on a scale is honestly one of the most antiquated ways to measure your progress in the gym or on a diet that exists. And I'm gonna teach you what we're gonna be replacing it with and why it is superior to the old method. Let me ask you, what really makes a good doctor? If you're not happy, how are you supposed to help your patients? So again, I'm an osteopathic physician. I specialize in holistic medicine, alternative medicine, and I have been a professional athlete. I have been exercising and dieting since I was in early in high school. So this is an area of my passion that I am really excited to share with you. So why don't I use a scale anymore? Why should you throw your scale away? As I'm sure you've heard in the past, whether it be through podcasts or reading or your own personal experience with diet and exercise, muscle weighs more than fat. Everybody knows this, this is a common phrase, but what does that actually mean? And why can you just throw your scale away and replace it with something else? So if you're somebody, say you're 200 pounds and you're a little bit overweight and you're trying to get into better shape, and you're doing that through diet and traditional exercise. You're going to the gym, you're running, you're lifting weights, and you're dieting. Some of those people don't see that number on the scale go down as fast. It might go from 200 to 190 and then plateau for a while. While you're putting in work, while you're dieting, while you're calorie restricting, while you're lifting weights. And that can be frustrating, but why is that? I mean, why are the numbers saying what they are? And the answer is because you can be losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time and you, you could stop showing progress on a scale, especially if you're not calorie restricting but you're adding the gym, you're burning more calories. Some people can stay the same weight and still get in much better shape. This is why the scale is not helpful for you. There's a much better way to, to track your progress and it gives you a lot more information than the mass that you're showing on the scale because the mass does not show you the proportion of body fat and muscle. So there is a really quick way to do it. And in the past, this was an expensive solution that was not available to the general public. It involved dipping you in water by a crane to get an accurate measurement. It involved clipping skin uh, and having a professional read those results. Uh, and then there was these $10,000 machines that would shoot waves through your body to try and determine what your body fat percentage is. Now with technology today, it's, it's much more accessible, it's cheap, it's fast for you to measure your body fat right at home. That way you're not depending on a scale to tell you how much you weigh, but you're actually able to measure to a degree that is similar to the, the, the accuracy of a DEXA scan, what your body fat percentage is, what your body fat composition is, and then actually have actionable information to do something about it. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why the scale is no longer going to be an option for you and how to test your body fat right at home. As we already discussed, the scale tells you your mass. Your mass does not include your percentage of body fat, your percentage of muscle. It doesn't include the visceral body fat. You don't know how much of that fat is concentrated in your, in your visceral region, your stomach, your chest, that can actually lead to disease like heart disease. Uh, and a lot of other similar conditions. But it's important to know what your, your fat composition is, uh, not just your visceral region for your actual health risk, but throughout your entire body. Because so, when you're exercising, when you're dieting and you're trying to get in better shape, you wanna know how much fat you're burning. You're, you wanna have a higher percentage of muscle to fat. And knowing that your fat percentage is going down 2% per week is much more information than knowing that your mass on a scale is going down one pound per day. So how is this possible at home now? And what does that information actually tell you? Well, uh, back here, we've got a device called Bello that I use. Uh, it's actually the Bello 2. And this, this device, very, very affordable. There's a link, a link in the description to purchase it. it. Takes about 30 seconds to get an accurate body fat reading using near infrared technology. Uh, of different spots in your body. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this at the end of this video, how to actually get an accurate scan. But there's an app that this links to, and essentially it'll walk you through the correct procedure to scan five different regions of your body. It uses near infrared technology to give you an accurate result in the form of a body fat composition percentage 
And then you're able to track this every three days, every week, every two weeks to actually track your progress in fat loss, not just weight, but fat loss. And this is huge. This is revolutionary. We've never been able to do this at home before and in this easy of a way. It'll then tell you what to do with that information. So where are you in terms of average versus uh, slightly obese versus uh, you're, you're in very good shape? And what are some things that you can do to adjust your routine to hit those goals? And I'm telling you, it is much more satisfying every week to see changes in your body fat composition versus changes on the scale. Uh, it records all that information right there in the app and gives you a really good idea of what you're doing in the gym, what you're, what you're doing diet-wise, and how that's affecting your body fat composition. Now there's other videos that I've made that go into nutrition and fitness exercise tips, uh, so please check out other videos on my channel, but I really want to teach you how to use this device. So if you'll come over with me to the living room, I'm going to take my shirt off and we're going to teach you how to actually measure body fat composition using the Bellow 2. All right, welcome to my living room. I'm gonna teach you to actually use the Bellow 2 device and I'm gonna walk you through the app as well. So it takes about 30 seconds, scanning five different parts of your body and then gives you the accurate percentage right here in the app and the app actually walks you through every step, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it correctly. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna go and change into an appropriate outfit to make it easy to show you. All right, welcome back to my living room. I'm in gym clothes now, ready to show you how to use the Bellow 2. So on this screen share, I'm going to show you how to actually use the app and walk you through some of the steps. Okay, so it sees my results from last time, 18.1. It's actually about five minutes ago, but we're going to go ahead and redo that. So to start the scan, you're going to hit that yellow button at the bottom, and it's going to connect to my Bellow. Make sure it's on and nearby. So let's see, connecting to Bellow, searching, searching. It looks like it found it. Connected. All right, let's start that scan. So first, it's going to ask me to scan my right bicep. When you're scanning it, you want to make sure that you're following the exact instructions in the app. So in this one, it's the bellow facing out. Right on that bicep, make sure that it's nice and flat and hit that top button to actually initiate the scan. All right, same thing on the left side, bellow facing out, arm is relaxed, bellow is flat. Scan complete. Next, I'm going to go to my leg, bellow facing up, right on the side of that quadricep. Scan complete, and same thing on that left side. Okay, last but not least, scanning the upper belly. You just wanna make sure the bellow is facing up, looking at you, nice and flat, and go ahead and push the scan. All right, and that is it. So, my most recent up-to-date body fat, 17.7%, a 0.4% margin is pretty good, guys. Uh, so, in addition to what it tells you with my metabolic health index is optimal and normal. It gives you a lot of really cool suggestions for how to cut your calorie count to hit your goals, uh, some, some recipes that are really good. Um, it tracks your weight as well as your waist size if you wanna continue to set those things. Uh, and then it gives you a lot of other really great information as well that are gonna help you really achieve your goals. But anyways, this is the app. This is how you use the Bellow. Follow the instructions. And if you wanna pick up your own, please check out the caption to the show click on that link and let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you guys. Get your bellow, toss your scales, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.